In Jeremiah chapter 39, we have an amazing, epic chapter. It's when King Nebuchadnezzar finally, well, he comes in and defeats the nation of Israel. And he takes all the nobles, all the royal, all the rich people out of Israel into Babylon. And he gives Jeremiah kind of a, a release, if you will. He doesn't hold him in bondage. He doesn't hold him in prison. He kind of sets him free to be there in that area. But he kills the king. He kills his sons. It's, it's just a murderous time. But the Lord makes an amazing promise to the people of Israel. It's in chapter 39, verse 18. For I will surely deliver you, and you shall not fall by the sword, but your life shall be as a prize to you, because you have put your trust in me, says the Lord. So in that verse, the Lord promises that one day he'll deliver, if they'll trust in him. It reminds me of that proverb that says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. See, to trust in the Lord means he'll direct your paths, but if you don't trust him, then he can't take you anywhere. He promises to take them out of bondage if they trust him. And here's the deal for you and I. In Jeremiah chapter 39, because of lack of trust, because of disobedience, they finally receive what God had been telling them they would, his judgment. But even in the midst of judgment, God offers grace, he offers mercy, he offers deliverance if they'll trust. So my takeaway on this passage is the Lord can't lead me. He can't deliver me if I don't trust him. So let me encourage you. Let me encourage me. Let's trust in the Lord because that's the way he leads us and that's the way he delivers us. Lord, help us to trust in you with all our heart.